What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. If you didn't tune in last night to the Spaces event with Elon Musk and Donald Trump, man, you missed out, but we got you. Don't worry. Uh, billions of people did tune in, though. According to a post this morning, Elon Musk says, combined views of the conversation with the real Donald Trump and subsequent discussion by other accounts is now one billion views across. That's the crazy. House. That's crazy. Digital X account posting between uh, 745 at 7.47 and 10.47, this was I'll when you the, the world spaces want, was live, President Donald Trump's face received 73 million views. Wow. 73 million views. Well, I mean, that's damn near, that's that's Super Bowl. Yes. yes. That's the Super Bowl. I mean, you, you go, go check how many people are live watching the Super Bowl. That's the Super Bowl. All wow. right? We know Nielsen ratings. We had a cable TV show. We know Nielsen ratings. This is the Super Bowl. It's incredible. This This is every single show on every cable news network combined. And that's across the entire stream. They had 1.3 million people uh, just during the concurrence of the stream. Now, what does that mean? That means how many people are watching live at a specific second in time? Mm -hmm. uh, for comparison, when Kamala Harris stole Joe Biden's YouTube account and got did no her views. vice presidential Two, announcement from 10 people it. watching. Oh my gosh, what a wicked wicked. She had 500 people watching. Wow. 500 people. <clears throat> uh, that means you have a fake campaign. Only 1% is <laughs> a real campaign. Right, right. The kinetic energy of what Donald Trump was doing was absolutely massive. We posted about it, man. We, have li we had live concurrent peaks uh, at or around 100,000 on YouTube and Rumble. Together, the mimetic and kinetic energy of this was just off the charts. Elon Musk saying almost all legacy media will trash the Trump conversation, thus driving total listeners of course. to past 200 million. Uh, this is a record-breaking, massive success. Of course, the media are very, very upset about it because mm -hmm. it humanizes President Trump and it humanizes Elon Musk. They were uh, funny. They, they were, were like, they were. It was. It was like listening in on a private conversation. It yeah, was. is what it was. It was like listening in on like. <laughs> It's like listening in on like the two of them just chatting over like on a Saturday night. Yeah. And both of them have had like, a, uh, you know, uh, both of them have fifth of bourbon because <laughs> they were making jokes. If we could just record that conversation and post it, it would have been excellent. <laughs> and I hope we can have something like that today. Well, I think we will. I'm pretty sure we will. And congratulations because I see you broke every record in the book with uh, so many millions of people. And it's an honor. We view that as an honor. And, and Donald Trump talking about uh, Joe Biden here. He actually did something that was impossible. Both sides hate him. You know, <laughs> both sides. Yeah. That was a hard thing to do. Unification. Yeah, no, no. I mean, I mean, the two billionaires talking to each other. Who knew it could be so interesting? It I is know. It's extremely interesting. Uh, to start off the space, so there cool. was a slight delay. That's, of course, what the media is then going to seize upon. Of course. Um, They're trying to speak against the this. That this kind of stuff happens all the time. <clears throat> of course. We're live every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. And there's there's always small errors. There's always small glitches. Sometimes our stream crashes. Something, I mean, it's it's complicated yeah. to be live. And there are mistakes that are made in cable television day and night. Some of them are noticed and are really embarrassing. Some of them aren't. But either way, there are massive mistakes that are always made in going live because it's a complicated process. Right. Uh, Elon Musk saying that there was a cyber attack on X that was uh, shutting down the capacity to enter the space. And that was it was a little bit. Um, you know, I believe in the space to start off. Sorry to keep you waiting. Complicated business, says Margot Martin. President Trump there on the phone. Of course, if you <clears> zoom <throat> in on that phone, you'll see our executive producer, ALX, right there. Very okay. Come on. Come on. We out ya. We out ya. Let's go. So a lot of great clips. We'll get to them in just a second. Charlie Kirk, though, saying if Trump does this for 84 days, he'll be the 47th president. Right. We had a poll that said, do you want this every week? We'll call it a fire space chat, like a fireside chat. And uh, 50,000 people voted yes, they did. Trump's holding a long form, wide ranging interviews with Elon. No uh, spreading, speaking knowledgeably on topic after topic. Not sure any other world leader could actually do this. They can. Right. Yeah, saying, yeah. Yeah. saying wide ranging, unscripted, wildly refreshing. That's right. Uh, some, the, of course, the the angry, ex seething ex girlfriend energy of the Kamala Harris. Uh, <laughs> the two worst people you know are live this evening. I, just, I like the nasty. Right there, she go. The tonality of the Kamala Harris campaign. 
is just, I mean, it's such like soy, mean girl, nasty, right. uh, ex ex girlfriend energy. <clears throat> it's really, it, it really, that's probably the best. That, that's what I, that's what I saw here. Ex girlfriend energy is off the charts. We're not calling it X. I saw somebody else in my timeline say uh, Kamala Harris will be president and an American city will get nuked in World War Three. And the press release will be like, um, so that happened. Right. <laughs> that would be Cheers. terrible. People. Horrible. You're going to meme Donald Trump uh, out of existence. This is not the case. 1.3 million views without a concert. Yeah, that's right. Without a concert. They're so angry about it that the European Union said they were going to stop. They were going to shut down X because of this interview. Right. This interview of President Please. Canada. Oh, man. Give so support. good. OK, let's begin with the clips. Elon Musk uh, asked Trump to discuss his reaction to being assassinated. Trump says, not pleasant. Go. Well, I mean, maybe uh, we, we could start off with, um, I mean, the assassination attempt, uh, which uh, w w was an incredible thing. And I have to say that, uh, you know, your actions after that, ass that, that assassination attempt were inspiring. Um, you know, you instead of shying away from things, instead of ducking down, um, you were pumping your fist in the air and saying "fight, fight, fight." And I think that's, I mean, you know, the 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 president of the United States represents America, and I think that is that is America. That is, that is strength under fire, and um, so Completely. that's uh, you know a, a big a, you know a part of the reason why I was uh, excited to endorse you as. Uh, the, the, the president of the United States for ha having another term here is uh, that was that was just incredibly inspiring. But, but I mean, what was it like for you? Not pleasant. I didn't know I, had, I didn't know I had that much blood. The doctors <laughs> that later blood. told me that the ear is a place that is uh, with the blood. Is a bloody Sensitive. place. Yeah, you're going to get Sensitive. hit. But uh, in this case, it was probably the best mm -hmm. alternative you could even think about. Right. Because it went at the right angle. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a hard hit. It was very, uh, I guess you would say Not surreal, but it wasn't surreal. You know, I was telling somebody you have instances like this or like a lot less than this where you feel it's a surreal situation. Mm -hmm. And I never felt that way. I, I knew immediately that it was a bullet. I knew immediately that it was at the ear, yeah. and because uh, it, you know, it hit very hard, but hit the ear. And I also heard people shout, "Bullets, bullets!" Uh, you know, get down, get down, because I, you know, I moved down pretty nicely, pretty quickly, and we had bullets flying right over my head after I went down. So I'm glad I went down. Mm -hmm. Another uh, part of the interview that made major news is Elon Musk saying he would serve in a Trump administration. Uh, and a government efficiency committee. That would be amazing. Some people just don't understand, don't understand where inflation comes from. Um, inflation comes from government overspending because the checks never bounce when it's written by the government. So if right. the, if the, if the hmm. government uh, spends far more than it brings in, that increases the money supply. And if the money supply increases faster than the rate of goods and services, that's, that's right. inflation. Um, so, so really, we need to have, uh, we, we need to reduce our government spending um, and we need to re-examine i think we i think we need like a government efficiency commission mm. to say like hey where are we spending money that's sensible where is it not sensible right. um and and we need to live within our our means we, we we're, we're currently adding uh, i think a trillion dollars to the deficit uh every roughly wow. every hundred days right. oh um, my gosh and, you know, the, the interest payments on the national debt have now exceed the defense budget it's a, on the order of a trillion dollars it's interest and it's and it keeps it keeps yeah. growing I I mean, I, I think it would be great to just have a government efficiency commission that takes a look at, uh, at, at these things and and just ensures that the taxpayer money, the, the taxpayer's hard-earned money is spent in a good way. Um, and and, I, and I'd, I'd be happy to help out on such a commission. I'd love if it. If it were formed. Well, you, you're the greatest cutter. I mean, I look at what you do. You walk in and you just say... You want to quit? They go <laughs> yeah. on strike. They, I won't mention the name of the company, but they go on strike, and you say, that's okay, you're all gone. You're the greatest cut. Uh, the heart, right? It's good to have an optimistic view of the country, and the two of these men brought it. Uh, something you haven't heard in a long time, like somebody actually 
talk about the future of America being bright That's right. and not completely and totally shrouded in darkness. Yes. Uh, here. You know, people in America want to, want to feel excited and inspired about the future. They want to feel like the it's future true. is going to be better than the past and that, that America is going to do things that are greater than uh, we've done in the past. That's we right. new heights <clears throat> that make you proud to be an American and, uh, and, and excited about the future. Um, they want and, the American uh, you know, dream just, back. The, you know, they want the American dream back more important than anything else. It's it's like you don't have that today because the people, they've been just sucked. They see incompetent people running our, you know, the, the Biden thing is very interesting. People just found him to be incompetent. And when I debated him, I was like, is this for real? It was. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it was just absurd. Yeah. And of course, just some of our favorite clips mashed together. Why the hell not? Uh, talking about Obama, talking about Kim Jong Un, talking about Twitter red buttons and so on. Yeah. Uh, the two of them just chatting like old friends. It was incredibly refreshing to see. It was something that we would love to see more of. Yeah. Um, and obviously, if you <clears throat> go and you look at the actual post itself, you'll see. <laughs> Old propaganda, new propaganda. Ah! <laughs> Musk sharing, sharing the memes this morning, actually. Uh, Trump, who's gained like millions of followers since returning to X. Wow. Here we go. It says 20, 23 million tuned in. Again, more than any, wow. you know, more than all broadcast media combined last night on the cable news network. That's why they're so, so mad. Uh, enjoy our super cut of funny commentary from the night. See ya. And, and it's, you know, I'd just like to, to note to people listening, like, I, I've not been very political before. And, and if just if you look at my track, my record, it's I've actually been I'm, I'm, I'm not like some sort of try to paint me as like a far right guy, which is absurd because I'm like making electric vehicles and, you know, solar <laughs> and, and batteries helping them with the environment. And uh, and, and I actually I, I uh, you know, I, I supported Obama. I stood in line for six hours to shake Obama's hand when wow. when he was running for president. And. You know, so it's not like I'm like some sort of dyed in the wool long term Republican. I'm actually I'd call myself uh you know, historically a moderate Demo democrat and, and but now I feel like we're really at at a critical juncture for wow, the country. That's, that's a lot. Um that means and, a lot. Uh, he you know, I, I think hours. a lot of people thought, Michelle you know, Obama's the Biden name? administration would be a moderate mm -hmm. administration, but it's not. And and obviously the, the, we're just gonna see a, 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 a an even further left uh, administration with, with Kamala. That's, that's exactly. my opinion. I said, what's the biggest problem? He said, North Korea. I had that problem worked out very quickly. It was nasty at the beginning with Rocket Man and you know, all the different things. <laughs> yeah. but all of a sudden, I got some, a call. Those, some, those oh. were some epic tweets, by the way. Yeah, they were, were like, no, they were uh, epic. <laughs> everything. He said, he said that he has a red button on his desk. I said, I have a red button on my desk, too, but my red button is much bigger, and my red button works. And then I called him yeah. Little Rocket Man of Little Rocket Man. Anyway, he, and again, I said to Vladimir Putin, I said, don't do it. You can't do it, Vladimir. You do it. It's going to be a bad day. You cannot do it. And... I told him things that what I do, and he said, no way. And I said, way. <laughs> and you know, it's the last time we ever had the conversation. Oh, my gosh. I mean, that's what you really have that's to love need. about Some, Trump, man. Who, he is not going who, to back down. He who is got the like, balls. way. <laughs> way you need somebody with the balls like, i just i don't know i always visualize when it comes down to those dire moments when it comes between <laughs> war and you got like a kamala and she's like we're gonna i don't know we just you know i just see it just like she's not being confident even, enough they wouldn't even send her in to negotiate by herself i just don't see it it would have to be her vp and probably head security whoever the top people are when it comes to you know in the service whatever they're ranks and positions are who are over that they would have to be in the room because of course she just is not even basically it's all good it's all good when it's just the normal stuff when it's stuff that that when people about to lose lives i don't think she she yeah. the one, she the one no but i mean i i just i felt like it was a conversation as well that two friends were having and i didn't think about that you can just edit this out so I like it how it was just like Benny said, this is a good clip that kind of summed up, you know, parts and everything because we were looking and looking and looking. It's like, OK, it's so many parts and pieces, you know, who has a great summary of this. So I, I like how Benny did that. And that was 
that's the com. That was a conversation. It yes, was, it was. It was very <clears throat> many things I heard. Many things were different from what I heard. I like the committee, the commission, how he said he wants to serve and how we got the checks and balances. Yeah. Because right now we ain't got no checks and balances. We nope. had none since Joe was president and probably even before then. But I'm just saying what really made it more clear to me and what stood out is since he's been president. But now you really want the checks and balances and having that committee, commission, whatever. It's like, man, please. This was a win-win conversation. It was a win-win conversation. So. And I can't wait to see him endorse him. And I can't wait to see Trump win. Um, and I and I I feel like he'll have spaces. He's going to have space for Elon and Vivek and stuff like that on his team. Oh, um, most and definitely. I, and, they, and they have Sold. And, they, and they have a power team. Yeah. They have a power team. Sold. You know, um, Sold, exactly. You know, and 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 maybe some of the other put, um, candidates who were running against him at first, who he was, you know, pretty cool with, mm-hmm. may have um, also be a, a part of his cabinet because right. that's the that that's what really you know makes a good administration is when you have you know brilliant people who are great at what they do but really have a true heart. They walk in ethics, integrity. You may not always agree with their decisions all the time because we know that's impossible. Mm-hmm. However. Overall, you know, they have our best interest at heart and they're fighting for what we want because they got families, too. They believe in these things, too, not to sacrifice us so they can eat. They ain't, no, that's not that's not what they trying nah, to do. I don't need no more of that. They ain't trying to do that because what common in space, I believe the sac the sacrifice would be it'd be. Oh, my God. I think it would just be on X on extra between the things that they would do just for them and then the things that would hurt everybody else. Yeah. All right, man. That wraps us up, man. So This was really good. 2024, be more. Talk less. We love you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Bye.